Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be a piercing related video. I don't know if you can hear the items moving in the background. I have been asked before what organization I have for my body jewelry. I only have ear piercings and then my nose piercings. I don't have any other like body jewelry. I don't have any you know, belly button rings or anything like that. Even though hopefully that will come soon, but I don't, <laughs> okay. But I do have a actual container for all of my body jewelry. And I thought I would show you all it today and how I compartmentalize all of the jewelry that I have. I really need to do a declutter as well because a lot of this jewelry I've either never worn or I haven't worn it in a long time and it's just sitting here collecting dust. For starters, this is the lovely organization container that I have. I got this from Amazon. Hopefully I can find it again and if I can, I'll link it below or if I can find something similar, I'll link it below as well. But it does have 12 little compartments as you can see. Some are more full than others, the lid, comes up like so, but I thought I would just show you all like what I have as well as the different compartments. So we're gonna start up here and go across. Most sections do have kind of a rhyme or reason to them. Others, not so much, they're kind of like a catch-all. So the first one is a bunch of jewelry that I had gotten for Helix Pearsons that I have never worn. I actually think they're featured in a haul, like one of the first hauls I ever did on this channel. I, they're cool looking, but they're not like, they're not my style anymore. <laughs> they may have been at one time, but they're like these little twisty ones. And I've got a bunch of them, like I've got this pink spike one, I've got a green ball one. They just, I don't know, they're just not my, my aesthetic anymore. See, they're all twisted and curved and everything like that. Oh, and one just lost its ball, so that's great. They're still in here because they're cool looking but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear them just because they don't really fit my aesthetic that I have going on. So they will probably kick the bucket at some point, but today is not a declutter video. Today is a how I organize my stuff video. This next compartment right here is kind of, it's for my Helix Pearsons. So these are 16 gauge. Oh, that's something about those twisty ones. They are all 16 gauge. These are all 16 gauge as well. They're intricate. They're a little bit detailed. Jewelry that I used to wear, not so much anymore. You all have probably seen a few videos of this piece. This is a shield I used to wear back when I just had one Helix Pearson. So that's more of a just, they're not just gems like what I normally have in. They're like a more detailed, intricate thing. Some of them are a little cutesy too, like this one has a lotus on it. I mean, they're so tiny, it's kind of hard to see. This one is a little bumblebee. So those are just my more detailed jewelry pieces, but they are all 16 gauge. The sizes, like the length and the bar vary. I just don't wear them as much anymore. They're cute, but I just don't wear them as much. I, I rarely change out my jewelry these days. So the next compartment, it's a fun one and I might do a video with these pieces. These are all retainers. So if you don't know what a retainer is, they're usually plastic, they can be glass, they can be other materials, but usually they're plastic and they're used for hiding the fact that you have piercings. So they're usually clear or they're like skin toned. I do have a few that are like light blue and then I have a few that are black, but the majority are clear. I used retainers when I had my weight loss surgery. They were like, you gotta take your piercings out. And I'm like, I can't, they'll close up. And they were like, well, do you have anything in it that won't like conduct electricity? So to not electrocute myself. And I was like, I have retainers, they're plastic. And they're like, perfect, use those. So all of these right here, are my retainers, they're all plastic. So I may do a video where I change all of my piercings out to retainers. That would be interesting to see. It would look like I have nothing. But like I said, I do have a few non-clear ones. These two, there's a black and a blue septum one. I do have something for every piercing except for my rook and my da. I have everything else covered. I have septum ones, I have nostril ones. I have regular helix ones. I even have 14 gauge ones for my conch, but I do not have anything for my Dave Duff or my Rook. If I did do a retainer video, I would not change the Dave Duff. That would just stay as is, but I could change the Rook. I wouldn't have a problem doing that. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video of me doing all retainers. That would be interesting. The next compartment up here has some like plugs or tunnels. I only have one pair in there right now, but I do have a lot of O-rings 
in here. That's just where they're housed. So moving on down to the next row, right here are, please ignore my rats in the background. They really, for some reason, when I start filming, they just feel the need to have to make noise. So right here are tongue rings or tongue barbells. You can clearly tell I have tongue piercing. I got those because it is very hard to find 14 gauge jewelry, unless you're getting a tongue piercing jewelry. So I got these tongue barbells because back when I was trying to find things for my conch, you know, I was trying to find 14 gauge. I had bars, but I didn't really have gems. So I got these with the hopes that I could use the gems on there, you know, it would fit 14 gauge, everything like that. At first I was just gonna use this, this long thing and put it in my conch. Unfortunately, they're really, really long. So that didn't work. And then some of them couldn't still work because the gem is connected to the bar. It's the plain ball that comes apart. So. They're still in there because they're pretty. You never know, maybe I will get a tongue piercing at some point and then I'll have jewelry, but they're just chilling in there right now. This next one is kind of like a catch-all. It's a lot of captive bead stuff, but the beads are missing or they don't fit. So that's just what this one is, is a bunch of captive rings with missing beads. Next one over right here are my plain Helix jewelry. These are just gems that I've used in the past. I've got some opals in here. It's basically just gems that you've seen on me before, but aren't the good quality like I've got in now. I've got titanium in now. Those are all surgical steel or stainless steel. So they're not the best quality and my ears don't like them as much. And they do like, like this one, this is an opal. Can't see it, it's so tiny. For some reason they like that one. And then I think maybe it's because the bar is a little longer, but yeah, that's just them. They're like plain helix jewelry. Next one over right here are my curved barbells. Those are my rook pieces. So I've only got three right now. Again, these are not titanium. These are all surgical steel. I do still have the initial one that it was pierced with. I always keep my initial jewelry for whatever reason, but then I have a diamond one as well as a pink one. I don't have much rook jewelry just because rook is a pain in the butt to change. So Bottom row, we have down here, these are all my conch pieces. So these are all 14 gauge. Everything else has been 16 gauge up until this point. This is 14. Again, it's my largest one. So here's an example of one of the barbells that I used to have and the gem that's on it came from a tongue barbell ring. I don't know what happened to the barbell that it came off of, but these didn't go together as you can. Kind of hard to see, but the two balls on either end are not the same size. I have some plain, just regular straight barbell jewelry. I do have a captive bead in here, but captive beads don't really look right in my conch since I've got this higher low piercing, so I don't do captive in there much. This next one is definitely a catch-all. Um, some of these are initial jewelry, like what I was actually pierced with. Others are barbells that don't have a gem on the end because I've lost them or others that have a gem and no barbell. And believe me, I've tried to put like the missing pieces together and they just don't work, so. That's all this one is right here. It's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that doesn't go with anything. These last two are all nose jewelry. So this one is all nostril jewelry. So I've got mostly L-shaped pieces in there. I do have some corkscrews. I don't have any nose bones. I don't have any of those because I'd be terrified that I'd rip it out. It's hard enough for me to keep an L-shaped one in there. Um, I feel like a nose bone I would for sure rip out. I do have some rings, but if you put a ring and then you have a ring, that's a lot of rings going on in your nose. So I like to stick with studs um, for my nostrils and then have a ring for my septum. That's just my preference. And especially if I get my Medusa done, that would be a whole lot going on if I had rings and then that, at least in my opinion. And then the last one is my most populated section here. And that is all of my septum jewelry. I do have some horseshoes. I mostly have clickers for the most part, but you've, you've all seen pretty much all of my septum jewelry because I've done a bunch of hauls um, regarding septum jewelry before. Nothing new in there. I don't have as many horseshoes as I thought. I got, I got a, a few, but then I've got a few horseshoes that are missing balls because they unscrew and then fall out of my nose. So the majority of what I have are septum clickers, which is fine because I like septum clickers better. I only use horseshoes when I'm around people that really don't like septum piercings, AKA my grandparents. But yeah, that's pretty much all that last section is, um, are my septum pieces or my day stock if I feel like swapping them out because just clean it well enough and it's perfectly fine. But yes, these are all of my body jewelry that I have in this little 
nice compartmentalized container. Again, I will try and find it because I've had this now for two and a half years. No, three years. So I got my first one in 2016. So I'm pretty sure I got it that year as well. So if I can find it, I will link it below. Otherwise I will try and find something similar in case you want to get something yourself. But that is it. I know it's not very exciting. Sorry, but people wanted to see what I kept it in. So there you go. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be, because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys.